you know, the dude is depressed, not clinically depressed. He's just very sad and miserable because he lost his girlfriend. He lost all of those amazing emotions, all the sex, all the connection, all the I love you, all of the good stuff. And his, he can't replicate that. Of course you feel sad. Of course you feel uh, miserable. You gotta be able to replicate that, dude. If there's that girl and you think that that is the only girl who can give me good, amazing connection, you're gonna be miserable. And, and I wanna tell this dude, nobody's special. Nobody's special. Nobody is special. What do I mean by that? Yeah, your relationships are unique. Your relationships are, are, are special, but you can replicate that. You can have better than what you had in the past. If you don't have that mindset, you're going to keep going backwards because then you're going to put it on a pedestal. Are you telling me there's nobody who's more beautiful and can connect to you better than your ex? That's the problem. If you, if you say, no, there's nobody, then that's the problem. That's, that, that's the wrong mindset. Because there, look, there was a day in your life that you didn't know your ex exists. Let's see what came out of it. Right now, there, there are women out there who are much better fit for you than your ex. Now, if you want to get your ex back, that's cool. You know, I help you with that. If you want to, uh, if whatever you want to do, you have to let go. Next question, Ben, I can't let go. Life is hell. What can I do? Look, man, letting go is a sequence of things that you should continuously do. The word you're looking for is progress. If you make progress in these areas that I tell you, you will let go. I'm not talking about heavy depression that if you're on Prozac and if you're on like serious Lexapro and Zoloft, your ex or nobody else wants to be with you if you haven't let go. If you're still in a situation that you're tight and you don't know what to do and, and you're sad and you're miserable. So you have to let go. And if you want to do it, these are the things that you should make progress in. First of all, physically, it's out of question. You got to start to go to the gym. You got to start to look better. It's not that I go to the gym one time, then I don't go for two weeks. No, you have to get a personal trainer. You have to pay him three month challenge. You have to go there and you have to start to look better. It's absolutely important. If you don't do it for, for any reason, it's going to be very difficult to let go. Or same with, with I call it social progress. You got to meet new people. You got to meet new high quality people. That's why I introduced you to one of the amazing core skills of cold approach you need to be able to walk to anybody that you want and start to a relationship out of nothing it's crazy it's difficult but it's key you need to do that because you know if you don't let go dudes they don't want to be around you your ex or anybody else make progress with your uh, relationships you know you're going to bring other people you have not that there are some scenarios that is good not to want dates and that's a scenario that your ex is kind of negotiating with you she said okay i just need more time i, I need a few more days and uh, the other thing is the emotions. Dude. You gotta have full awareness of your emotions and your thoughts. You gotta understand exactly what you feel, how you feel, and how you can change it. If you're aware of these emotions, then you can change them. If you want to let go, you have to, you have to do all of these things because without good energy, without having something good to offer, nobody wants to come close. Dude, these things are transactional. I know, I know it doesn't sound good, but if you start to annoy people by negativity and bad energy, oh man, you know, I'm so sad they start to go away from you. It doesn't matter who, you know, and when guys come to my program, I'll, I tell everybody, dude, you can always call me, message me, and I'm going to talk to you. I give you the solution and I help you. But if I see you don't want to help yourself, then I cannot spend all of my time. I, I won't go in your negative universe. Yeah, you cannot suck me there. <laughs> you cannot suck me into your, your, that, into your negative universe. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to be stuck. But if you're down in the hole and I throw the ladder, you got to climb up. I can only give you the tools, but I'm, I'm not going to go down there and stay sad with you. I give you the ladder. You got to climb up. And that's how these things work. And the solution is simple. If the dude doesn't wake up to go to the gym, if the dude doesn't eat healthy, if the dude smokes weed, smoke bung, dude bung, smoking bung and it's not okay to smoke bong and go to the gym. You just have to stop. There's no excuse. Oh, no, I, I, I'm different. I can smoke bong and I can control it. If that stuff affects you. If you drink, if you do any kind of drugs, if you have negative thoughts, that stuff, you, you got to stop that. You cannot take it easy on yourself if you want to let go. It's very easy to understand why some people don't let go because they have the same bullshit negative thought pattern and they continue to do that and they blame everything else and, and everyone else for their failure and their miserable life. They don't do the basics. The dude says, hey, you know, I look good. I got six packs, so it's a lot for me to have a joint. No, it's not. The dude says, I'm not overweight. I, I look good, so it's okay for me to have a beer. It's okay for me to have the bong. Oh, you don't understand. I, I, I make this much money, so it's okay for me to do certain things. Dude, 
you gotta live well letting go is look it's key it's key and it's easy it's really easy do the right thing give it some time mental physical emotional and social make progress daily give yourself three month uh, challenges and you will see it's, it's not difficult now why do you talk about this because if you want to get your ex back if you want to get into any relationship you have to get yourself back first you have to let go if you want to get yourself back if you want help with this download my book the link is in the description this is ben hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe i'll see you in the next video